What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your man Fire Himself Half Fight once again. Today's a very exciting time because we have some gigantic news for Subverse. Finally, we have information for release date. I'm excited. Finally, some concrete Subverse stuff. But I think it's time we finally got into this, discuss the details of what we have for release date. Before we get too far into it, if you're excited for today's topic, be sure to hit like down below, support the channel, boost my ego with bigger numbers, and support what I do. Also hit subscribe because in the future I'm going to be doing a breakdown of the giant ass video that Kristoff did uh, of a 48 minute breakdown of subverse gameplay so if you're excited for me to break down that footage also if you haven't checked it already link down below but if you want to break down specifically everything all that was new hit subscribe so you can see that video when i release it tomorrow if i say break down one more time i with that being said let's uh hurry this up because this is like the third time i've had to record this because a the last one was 25 minutes long and b my microphone seems to be dying so i think i have it on a setting where i can actually hear myself now the post starts off showing this absolutely Gorgeous cover art we're gonna get for the game. Absolutely stellar. And if you guys want to be able to get access to a high resolution version of this, join the Discord for Studio Foe, linked down below. And uh, inside of there, you'll be able to download a fresh, fresh, even high res version of this image inside the announcements tab. So be sure to check that out. However, we do have more when it comes to the actual post of what's coming for Subverse. Christoph goes on to say, as promised today, we will be revealing two important details. Subverse's release strategy in the release window. Not only that, we have nearly an hour of video content for you that's going to show up. Never before seen gameplay. But we're all here for that release information, so let's get right into that. You were also extremely generous with your support that by the time our Kickstarter campaign ended, we raised far more money than we ever expected. As a result, we were able to increase the scope and length of our game significantly beyond what was initially promised. We believe Subverse would have been 30 hours for the total experience, but we're proud to finally confirm that you're going to be getting a lot more game than you thought. That's exciting news to hear. Christoph actually came out to say at some point in time during the video itself that they had planned on going for 30 hours and it was about 100 uh, pages of script and by the time they finished it's actually hundreds of pages of script. Now granted that's not just the main story, it's also side story, dialogue inside the Mary Celeste between characters, uh, banter, and of course actual gameplay banter as well because you'll find plenty of that during the stream up sections as well as inside of uh, the grid combat. So the game is fully voiced, and there's a, there's a lot going on there. There's a lot of passion and love going behind it. They don't feel like they're forced into this. Um, Christoph, even at some point in time, confirmed there is no crunch. Everyone has a regular schedule. Some people continue to work more because they're excited to work about this stuff. I mean, if you're if you're into game design, it's very very easy to get carried away with your own work. No one's been forced. It has been confirmed by Christoph. There is no crunch. If you want me to. I'll try to do interviews with the devs, ask everybody just to confirm with everyone that no, they're good to go, they enjoy what they're do, doing, even. English is hard today with three hours of sleep. While many backers have been supportive of us taking as long as we need in order to deliver a complete package, there are many others that want to play Subverse now. We discussed several different options for release and have come up with a clear win-win solution for everyone. Subverse will be released in chapters. However, buying the game at any point gets you a ticket for everything. No matter when it's purchased, you will receive all the future non-DLC content at no additional cost. That is exciting to hear that we are absolutely going to be getting some content very, very soon. And he does go on to say that Subverse's initial release will be arriving quarter one of 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a release window for the game. I'm sorry, that was loud. We have a release window for the game. Quarter one. 2021. Quarter 1, 2021 is when the game will be getting released. However, there is a reason why they have not announced the release date just yet. Here, Kristoff says that only a few months to go. Also, we'll be announcing the final release date in January. We're waiting to commit to an exact date right now due to COVID causing many titles to slide their release windows. We want to make sure we don't land on one of those crowded occasions. Completely understandable. A lot of games come out in March, not to mention if any other games are being shifted from the fall into that season, could be a pretty crowded time to be releasing Subverse. So I'm completely fine with them having a release date announced within January. However, it is official. It's coming out quarter one of 2021. And with how much the game has been polished and just how clean it looks and 
the dedication we've seen behind it and the promises being fulfilled thus far, I firmly believe we're going to stick with that quarter one release date unless they find out that there's too many games coming out in quarter one and then they decide to go for quarter two, which in that case would be completely understandable because if there's too many games coming out in quarter one, don't even fight it. Don't even fight Let everyone's wallets adjust for a little bit before releasing the game. On top of that, there's just, just for, like my case, I wouldn't have enough time to be going between all these different games. I'd be like, I have to do some first though. Ah! You have like five other games out. It's, yeah, good times. As development continues, we'll be navigating you chapter by chapter through the world's biggest porn game while building excitement through hyping regular content drops, all of which will bring with them new waifus with full recruitment quest lines and even more sex scenes. Let me make this clear because I can already hear some people type this in chat. No, this is not meant as games of service. That is not the plan. They're not designing this as a games of service where they cut content out of the game. It is a process of, okay, we're not able to get the full game out just yet. We're going to do it in chapter releases. You're getting a full chapter one. Here's chapter one. Other chapters are coming soon. I just bumped the mic. I apologize. They're not even lying about saying, okay, guys, so we're, 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 here's the full game. And we're, here's a release schedule. No, it's, guys, people have been really excited about this game. We're going to go ahead and get it out for you guys because we know you're excited for it. However, um, just know that we're going to have to release it in chapters because we can't get the full thing out. But we're also excited about releasing the game. And on top of that, a lot of people might not know this, but the original Kickstarter was, I think it said it was either going to be a chapter-based game or if they were debating if it was going to be a chapter-based game. Either way, this didn't come out of the blue out of nowhere. There was already some planning behind it with the possibility of it being a chapter game. Hell, one of the Kickstarters earlier had mentioned that they were trying to get away from chapter-based game, but they're trying to find a middle ground for everybody, and I think this does work. It really does. We're going to be getting Subverse, get our hands on it, and I feel like after they get Chapter 1 out, uh, they won't have to worry about beta builds anymore, which might make it easier for them to work on the future chapters to be released into the game itself. He then goes on to say that Quarter 1 2020 content drop will continue the game's first several complete Chapters and three waifus, Demi, Lily, and Khaleesian. Thank you, Kristoff, for teaching me how to pronounce Khaleesian. And it will feature all of Subverse's core gameplay experiences. You will be able to enjoy the story as it is, unfolds, cruise protegime in its Mary Celeste, complete main side quests, make manticores, go on grid combat, and shoot up missions, and especially old hands. And down here they show a... Uh, picture of Lily, but um, obviously I can't show that for obvious reasons. We also know that many of you do not have access to the closed betas and are dying for some real gameplay. Hey, I tried pretty hard. So we teamed up with a YouTuber known as Ark to create an almost hour long look at Subverse. What are you waiting for? Check out my live gameplay interview with him now. Bonus tricky game, take a shot every time I say correct and absolutely. Uh, don't do that. Unless you're, you're, you're wanting to go down a path that you will not recover from. Which is funny because I was working on the script for the breakdown video. Again, subscribe for when that comes out. I was working on that video and uh, in there I literally talked about how we should mean the fact that he said absolutely so much. Looks like he beat me to the case in this um, Kickstarter update here. So uh, yeah, he says absolutely a lot. And if I ever interview Christoph again in the future, I will hold him to it. I find it funny just the way he says it. Absolutely. Thank you all once again for your patience and support. I have just a few more things I'd like to note. Dev Diaries are going to switch to a once a month format since we are going to be focused heavily on development from here forward. He also then goes on to say, Next month we will be planning to release the Imperium and Requital factions to the closed beta and grid combat. However, since the previously discussed Scoundrels appear sooner in the game, we're going to release that faction instead. We're also going to do something we've never done before, which is including both their grid and shoot 'em up level at the same time. That's the same amount of content, but with extra variety. So instead of getting the grid combat for the Imperiums and the Requital, uh, instead of two grid combats, we're going to be getting one new shoot 'em up section with the faction and one new grid combat with the new faction as well. So both from the, uh, the Scoundrels. They are found in Chapter 1. Uh, they're one of the main enemies, so it's kind of cool that we're going to be able to fight them for the first time. It's a brand new faction. Look forward to that. I will have you guys covered with that gameplay. Again, subscribe for that content. We're going to have an especially spicy Pandora preview video for everyone next month. 
it actually means this month. I recorded this late. I apologize. So later in December, this update came out in November. Uh, so later this month, we'll have a juicy, spicy Pandora preview. And you can expect the final game trailer in the near future as well. See you in Subverse's future very soon. Sincerely, Mr. Kristoff. With that being said, that is the update for Subverse. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. <sighs> However, I have talked about this real quick. Nip this in the butt because I know some people are going to bring this up. I cover the news for Subverse. People are going to ask me, blah, 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 whatever. Look, when Kristoff did the interview with Ark, after the video was released, there was a little bit of controversy going on. Some people came out in a cancel culture move against Ark. Uh, Studio Phil at the time was misinformed on information. They didn't look deep enough into it, so they thought that uh, Ark was not who they thought they were. Not who they thought he was, and they should have done more research. They apologized to everyone, they pinged everyone, and then later found out that no, people were making up and they were literally attacking and trying to cancel Ark, which is absolutely ridiculous. Look, the Subverse community is great. I'm sure Ark's community is great as well, but this was a case of just some people that just want to see the world burn. And there was a lot of finger pointing at the end of the day. However, things have been resolved. Studio Phil has come out with a formal apology on the subject. And they have made up once again with Ark. Everything's good and back in good graces. With that being said, Studio Foe is a company that develops games and makes porn for the world. Okay, for people to enjoy. Alright? That's what they do. That's what they do best. And that's what they want to do. They accidentally got caught up in a political scandal that was unintended. They probably should have done a little bit more research at the time. But you know what? You live and learn. Okay? I'm not here to kiss the company's ass, all right? They made a mistake here. I agree. I did not agree with them at the time either when they made that ping. However, the company has apologized. Shit happens. They don't want to be stuck on this, and they're trying to move on, which I respect them for as a company. They've already had several struggles in the past when it comes to uh, random political stuff coming up. Patreon. They got kicked off Patreon for what they do. That's the exact reason why I don't have a Patreon and why I went for Subscribestar as well. Again, if you guys want to support me, with finances to help me make more videos like this, down link below, you can support me on Subscribestar. They made a bad mistake, they admitted to it, they're moving on, and they're gonna double down what they do best. I'm sure some of the employees were a little frightened by this because they weren't prepared for this. No one, none of them were. They just make big, good looking titties. And they're trying to make a kick ass game. And I respect them for that. And they're gonna be doubling down and going back on that. It sucks what happened, but you know what? It's been resolved, and uh, I don't. The reason why I'm stressed out about this, and I want to talk about this too much, is because I've seen some YouTubers who have never even talked about Subverse before, and all of a sudden, now they're making videos on Subverse just to cover this topic, just to get views. I could have very easily, when this controversy happened, made a video on this and gotten a stupid amount of views. But guess what? I don't want to do that, because it's just bad PR against the company, and it's disgusting in my opinion. And there's a lot of people here just looking for drama. Look, bad stuff happens. They made up for it, and they did it pretty quick. There was no delay. This was solved, like, within the day. There, like, this did not drag on. Stuff happened, and it was solved in, like, less than 24 hours. Shit sucks, and no ill will against the YouTubers who are trying to cover... I mean, they're trying to cover news. Some of them are really beating a dead horse on this one, but again, no ill will on them. But honestly, it's just disgusting in my eyes when people exaggerate and just drag out this problem when all they're trying to do and the real PR they're trying to get here is just a badass game. That's the whole reason why they got Ark in the first place was to show off this bad, this badass game of theirs. <laughs> Almost said like bad game. Oh. So that's why I'm, I'm just frustrated by this topic because I can already hear people in the comment section typing out, why aren't you talking about this topic? What's going on here? Blah, 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 blah. You cover some version news. Ah! So there's that. Um, I'm glad to hear that things have been resolved and that they're going to be working towards um, not getting political within these situations again. They're not a political company. They don't want to become political, and that's great. So the future's looking bright for them. We'll see where it goes from here. However, as much as I love Studio Foe, I'll, I love talking to the dudes. I'll continue to talk to them as much as I can. Great guys. I'll support their game. But just know... Although I cover their news, I'm not paid by them, but I just cover news because I'm excited about this game. That being said, 
if something terrible happens to the company that I don't agree with, I'm not just going to sit here and kiss their ass. I'll be straight up with you guys. I'll tell you the truth. What's going on? This is some bad stuff going on with the company. All right? I don't want to be a biased source. But in this case, this was one of those things that was blown way, way out of proportion. And I'm trying to, like, tamper down expectations before it gets too out of control. All right? With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We're going to, like... Cool it back down. We have a lot of exciting stuff in the future for Subverse. Oh my god, that reveal was amazing. I'm going to be breaking that down. It'll be out later this week. So again, subscribe for that. Hit the notification bell when I do more Subverse live streams. Because more are going to be coming when that bear releases later this month. And I'm probably going to be doing more before then. Just because I'm actually pretty addicted to the game. The game is so smooth and fun to play in my opinion. So look for that sort of stuff. So... Hit like, help the video so more people can see this sort of stuff. Hit subscribe to help me out. Donate, subscribe, star down below if you want to help me to make more videos like this. And if you're a true OG, leave a hashtag finish down below if you made it to the end of the video. I'll thank you all for watching a long time, but a hard time. And I'll see you guys next time.